Hey you guys, it's Clary Berry. I'm here today doing a little extra boost of energy for the moon that we're coming into, which is the Pisces moon. It's 6.08 p.m. Central Time we came into the Pisces moon. In fact, I think that, I don't know what time it was because my Fitbit broke um, and I'm like, ah, screw it. I don't even use it. I just use it for the time and date. So I'll just have to keep my phone close. Uh, but anyway, I just wanted to come and do this reading for all my beautiful twin flames, okay? I usually am going to direct this towards the um, Divine Feminine, because that's who I feel usually watches the videos. But take it as it resonates. Sometimes it can be flip-flopping energy, as we can as well. You can also always think about this as anything I ever say in my channel about relationships can also be turn around on yourself for your own relationship with yourself because that is obviously the most important relationship that you will ever have okay so dm df tf all of the above we're coming to the stage of kind of it's growth there's a lot of growth right now and it's about how much can you imagine how much can you perceive coming into pisces is very fantastical very dreamy very imaginative and the we don't just have these dreams and fantasies just for the hell of it. You know, everything is related to everything else. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take some moon energy here. Just a couple of other overlying energies. Be bold and make the first move. All right. All right. All right. I feel like a lot of twin flames have been, you know, doing a lot of self-work. You know, stepping back, setting those boundaries. And... There's a time and a place for that. Take it as it resonates, of course. Not telling you to do anything that is going against yourself just because I said so, just because anybody else says so. Don't ever listen to anybody else if it doesn't resonate with your own self, okay? So let's see what these messages have for us in store. All right, we got the honeybee. Let compassion and forgiveness be your top priority in this situation, okay? So I feel like the light of our forgiveness is actually warming our divine masculines right now. Okay. And I do, I want to make this very clear. This is only for divine feminines who have actually done some work in setting boundaries, in standing up for yourself, in making sure that both you head to toe, inner and outer, know, you know, that you're here for yourself first and foremost. That's the bottom line always. The divine feminine on a material level, on a social, personal, spiritual level, all of the above, they are impressed and turned on by that energy. Okay, They want you to be like that. They want that strong female that always stands up for herself. So if you're not quite there yet, I don't really recommend making any first moves, you know, or even acting in, I mean, you can forgive, obviously, like, within yourself, but I wouldn't be like displaying that you you're so forgiving, you know, because science can be misread and everything. And you know, if you need to have, you need to be at that stage. This is for people who are at that stage. Okay. So hopefully that is resonating. Hopefully the right people are here watching this video, but either way, actually either way, the forgiveness piece and the compassion, I mean, that's always going to be there, especially compassion, you know, compassion is huge. Compassion is going to save the world. I mean, come on, this environmental crisis, everybody just go vegan already. <laughs> Gotta throw that in there, all my divine feminines. You're empaths, you should get it. You should get it. Put it together. No eating fucking KFC, trying to be eating some nasty ass chicken and say you're an empath. No, we're not, we're beyond that. We're evolving. Okay, this is about treating yourself. You know, don't come on here complaining about, oh, I got diabetes, but I eat fucking KFC. Literally, no. Not happening. Okay? So again, we're rising. We're better than that. We're getting better and we're having more compassion and more forgiveness than ever before. And it's not only, it's not only just like, oh, it helps the relationship. It helps us to let that shit go. It really, really does. Okay. So we got the chariot. So this is my card. This is the cancer card. Okay. We have lots of movement. Sometimes it may seem like things are standing still. And I feel like we've definitely been in this uh, situation Sorry, it's a little dark right now. We've been in this situation where things have been standing still for a little while. I mean, there was a lot of like, oh, this eclipse energy. 
over the summer and then it's kind of like okay nothing's been happening sorry I just it's it, it has to do with my tripod I think too it blocks the thing from being able to anyway maybe we're just not meant to have clarity just this minute but it is coming okay it is coming this white flag she's sitting there raising this white flag the the surrender flag you know I'm not sure if that's what she's supposed to be meaning it there but that's you know that's it goes along with the compassion and forgiveness piece you finally are getting over something that happened okay you held on to it for a while and I'm not gonna say it wasn't warranted because it was you know it, it was it I mean it's obviously gonna take you some time to get over something that really hurts you okay just take care not to just straight head back into the same cycles that you've already been in because you know we all know what the twin flame situation is cycles and they go and they go and they go and you know sometimes we're just having so much fun we just want to see our person we're just heading straight for the next tower moment okay again if you could see this it would be nice there we go see i had to pull it away i need a new tripod that's all there is to it all right so you can see you know they're not even paying attention where they're going I guess I got a driver, so it doesn't, but the, okay, even the driver is not paying attention where he's going. They're headed straight for this tower moment in this card. Okay, not to say you're doing this, but you could be, would be, if you're not doing the inner work, okay? You can make the first move. You can be bold. You can get your, I know you can get your person to talk to you. Get your, you can play these tricks that people tell you, oh, you know, just say this, just do that. And you'll, they'll be talking to you and yeah, okay. They feel the pull just as strongly as you do. They really do. They may not verbalize it. They may not understand it, but they sure as hell feel it. Okay. So don't be thinking you're tricking them and you're going to do these things. Oh, you know, like get them to come over and see them again just for this quick fix. Okay. Be okay with a little bit of extra separation if you can work on yourself a little bit more. Okay. And that's kind of the energy that we've been in for a while now. Plus, everybody's been so busy, okay? But this is the energy that you want. Hold out for this shit, seriously, right here, okay? Look how bad he wants her, and I'm not telling you to play hard to get, okay? I'm just saying, this is the opposite of most uh, Divine Feminine of the Twin Flames. Most of us have some codependent, empathetic, uh, you know, whatever you want to call it, um, issues you know and this is speaking very clearly you both have so much so much love and passion for each other okay you've been wearing yours on your sleeve he hasn't but he's also kind of proved himself a little bit here he's kind of proving himself let him prove himself let him prove himself you focus on your growth Look how much she's growing. She's a freaking flower. It's action. It's movement. It's passion. You focus on your passions that are not him, and this will be you. Okay? You focus on your passions, self-improvement in any way, shape, or form. And don't get stuck in one area. Remember, this is holistic healing and law of attraction. Many, many videos I talk about this. Okay? There's definitely six or seven or eight different, you know, aspects of your energy that you can take care of at all times, you know, and I'm going to start doing more videos, maybe even on just some, some of this materialistic, you know, kind of more mundane things just to help people out. Cause as a 37, almost and a half year old, you know, I've learned a few tricks and as a single mom, shit, <laughs> I learned even more from just being my age for real. And, um, you know, and I want to help people any way that I can. And, you know, obviously we are holistic beings, so we have to deal with our shit. We have to show up to work. We have to get that money. We have to pay the bills. We have to clean the house. We have to take care of ourselves. I don't care who you are. I don't care how rich you are. Even the most biggest actor or whatever, they still have to fucking wipe their own butt at the end of the day and do something for themselves at, at, at some days. You know what I mean? Maybe not every day. But it's like, you are a star, you have that star energy, but we're self-sufficient and we're, it's, pa it's powerful to be able to take care of yourself, you know? And I would say for, you know, the divine feminine, like stay strong in that energy. And it's, you know what, here's a, here's a secret too. Whenever 
this is a little bit more on the kind of mundane side, but it works whenever, you know, if you're sitting there, you know, sometimes, I don't know, in the past, I used to have situations like I'll be with my person and it's like, okay, you're not getting as much attention and you're just kind of sitting there. Maybe you're at their house. You don't have a lot to do. Twiddle your thumbs. I don't care. Uh, get on your phone or uh, get into your purse. When they see you paying attention to something that is not them, it turns them on. It's true. Try it. Try it. And let me know if you have any experience with that sort of thing. Okay. Again, I've completely changed my energy on this, not out of, oh, I'm going to do this in order to have him pay more attention to me. But over the years, you know, out of, you know, kind of the pull and the push and the pull and coming apart and together again, it's like, I realize I don't need him. I don't need him. I thought I did to be happy. No, you don't. You don't, I don't care if it is your twin flame. And it is, it is your twin flame. If you're here, if you're thinking it's your twin flame, it's probably your twin flame. Unless there's abuse and you're just totally codependent sucked in and try to make it something that's not, that's the only situation I think where people can kind of get confused. If there's any abuse, it's not your twin flame. Twin flames do not abuse. They may neglect a little bit. They may ignore, run, ghost, that sort of thing focus on what they're focused on already, you know, focus on their lives, but it's not, it's not verbally abusive. It's not mentally. It's not, um, it's not any of that sort of energy. Okay. Just a warning here. Okay. So still in the, Oh yeah, we got the moon card. I love these cause I'm so surprised to see what they are. Cause you can never just look at it and tell they're so intricate and so tiny and I have bad eyesight. <laughs> okay. So she's focused on her shit again. She is completely enthralled in what she is doing. Guess what? The dog, the dogs are too. They're both looking up at the moon. When you are thinking about your life, how you can make your life better, how you can, and, and fixing these flowers isn't just for her. That's a selfless thing she's doing for other people as well. This is her mission. She's focused on her mission. She's focused on her healing. She's focused on her growth. This is divine feminine, obviously. Okay, she's going in, she's going within to figure out what this mission is, what this purpose is. Sorry, I'm shaking the bed. It's probably shaking the thing. <laughs> but, and then it's not that he's going to automatically, like when you, when you start doing that, it's not that the divine masculine is going to automatically be all over you. What can I, give me, oh, what can I do for you? You know, no, it's not quite that. But what's going to happen is that when you're focused on your own stuff, it drops the guard of the divine masculine and it helps them to be able to go within themselves. And when you go within, they go within. Age old story. Easier said than done. Okay. But it's true. It is true. Okay. So being bold and making the first move also has to do with going within. Has to do with going within, of course. I mean, that's, again, that's like basic. The divine feminine is the intuition, is the inner, is the feminine. Masculine also has it, but the feminine, in, 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 <laughs> this is why. The feminine has more ins, more in, more yin, okay? It's, it's yin, yin, yang, all right? So stay busy, stay busy. You got stuff to do, you got stuff to do. You don't have to play hard to get to the point where, oh, they want to hang out with you, you're like, oh, I'm busy. I'm not going to see you till next week. Even though you don't. No. Okay. Don't go that far. Because I know you want to see your person. Okay. And honestly, the whole world benefits when you see your person. Okay. When you guys are together in harmony. And you're coming into this. You're coming into this where you won't even have to worry about it. Okay. But also, again, don't neglect the signs. You have to have change. You can't just, oh, yeah, well, I love him and I know this and we're twin flames. So I'm going to get back together and we're going to see each other again. It's like, yeah, okay, you got to do the inner work. You, there's no way around it or else you're going to be straight headed for another tower moment for sure. Okay, so here we go. Let's see what we got here. Make that first move. Make that first move to go within. Okay, not surprised. Second card is the... Yeah, I hardly... I'm, I'm just like not putting that much into... Um, what do you call them? I'm thinking recessive, recessive, recessive. Reversals all um, at all because, you know, every card is important. 
some are more than others, whatever. Okay. It's very important that you again, okay, this is, this is coming through and I know everybody has their own, you know, things of what this says and I'm not even going to get into the normal, uh, what everybody says. This one's about you. This is about you kicking up your heels. This is about you having some fun. I don't care if you are turning some music on and dancing in your bedroom or your kitchen. I don't care. You need to let loose. You need to cut loose. You need to have some fun. And it might not even be a bad idea if you let your partner know that you're doing that. Okay? This is reminiscent of me. Like, I got the AMC movie pass uh, stubs. What do you call it? A-list. It's the Stubbs A-list. And I love it because, you know, if, if, and my twin flame, we're very busy, just like a lot of twin flames. So it's like, yeah, you know, Friday night comes and my kids are off doing something with their friends. And it's like, what do I, you know, what do I do? Well, I go to the movies by myself and I freaking love it. Okay. I'm, I keep myself busy and I have fun. This is what I love to do. Cause I'm not that type of person, like go out to drink or with my friends, whatever, you know, uh, -uh. like I'll go see movies or whatever it is for you that they know that you're kind of doing that pampering, taking care of yourself, not to like diva level, you know, although yeah, be a diva, but not a super crazy diva. You know what I mean? Like this is just, this is just let loose, have some fun, pamper yourself a little bit on the inside and the outside. And of course, we all know that I'm going to say, well, the inside is the shadow work and the inner child healing. Okay. That's just a given. And that is what is next. Okay. But it's kind of like at the same time, when you go really deep within, if you're doing some real hardcore growth, uh, for instance, inner child healing work, which is all on my program. If you need to know how to do this stuff, go to my program. I'll give you step-by-step direct, clear, exact, with lots of examples of my own. Like, I'll walk you through it. Hold your hand. I'm here for you. Plus, I have a direct unlimited coaching club, lifelong coaching club, okay? So you can ask me any questions about the process or about whatever, and I'm, I'm always there for you guys, okay? I'm here for you. So definitely check that out. All the up-to-date prices are always at claryberry.com. Okay, so this is again going within, going within so far, it's gonna make you feel so I don't wanna say righteous, so divine, such like a goddess, you know, and you're gonna know exactly why things are happening. It's gonna help you have this clarity, it's gonna help you shine from the inside to the out, it's gonna help your like all of it is connected again, so holistic. It just seems like you're just going to shine and glow and be so much more healthy, you know, and the learning, I'm not even going to talk about the learning. Yeah, I am. <laughs> the learning that you're doing, the higher learning, okay, is really getting you places right now. It's really, it's like cradling you up, you know, it's just like supporting you in every freaking way. So keep up that good work, divine feminine. Keep up that amazing work. You literally are goddess. You are amazing. You are very, very necessary. You are here for a reason and so is your partner and they are awesome. So don't be talking shit on them. Even if you're frustrated, if you're frustrated with them, go in and do the shadow work. That's point blank end of story right there, okay? And because you're willing to do this work, do this shadow work, do this inner child healing work, you are having, again, benefits. You're getting benefits. Your social life, you know, something maybe calming down or clearing out regarding that, maybe even extraterraneous to your twin flame. Um, you are noticing, you know, you're, you're getting better with money. Your job is getting better. Everything is literally coming together. Your house is even doing well. You know, I'm just getting this sense where it's all kind of, again, you're holistic on the inside. It's not just, oh, the inner, you know, thoughts or the inner mind. It's like all of your inner energies. And it even goes to the physical, the inner physical. I feel like we have an inner physical and the outer physical. And that's where, you know, it starts to go into the outer. And then also, again, your outer energies, it's all coming into alignment. You cannot have a great, wonderful, beautiful, amazing life where you're on purpose if you don't have this alignment. Because... You will always constantly have things popping up. I need this attention. This, you know, our life will get our attention. The universe will get our attention if we need it. Okay. So, yeah, there's something out of our external energies too that we're taking to the next level. You're doing a lot of growth in this area. I feel like this is mission. Okay. I feel like pay attention to whatever you're learning, whatever you're 
whatever you really enjoy when you're when you're doing the work when you're doing the inner child healing work the shadow work the law of attraction you know when you're listening it's like maybe take notes or just even if you're not taking actual physical notes take a mental note of you know what you enjoy and what you can really like expand upon and don't wait start to start to get to work you know like start to help others because we all have our own ways of explaining things. We all have a lot of work to do. This world needs us, okay? Look around this world. This world is so confused, so in the dark, and what we're doing is lighting up each other's lights in order to help illuminate the whole entire world. So that's why I love the Twin Flame community. Um, you know, Sophia Charles got me into it, uh, all the people that they promote, but also even the underdogs that they don't want to promote because they haven't paid for their, you know, enough programs, which I don't know. I mean, I don't want to be a little bit disgruntled, but I've bought like the, in the image reading, the inner child healing seven day program. I bought both of the big things and still she didn't want to shout me out. And it's like, I'm not, I'm not butthurt about it. But on the other hand, I what I like to personally do is really not to shout out, oh, you know, Jupiter 1111, which I actually am right now, but like Ashley Bissett, she's amazing. Check her out. Check out people who, and share people on your channels, you know, who necessarily isn't just because Sophia Charles is doing it, you know, like branch out on your own. And if you resonate with somebody and if you see that they're doing something worthwhile, then feel free to go ahead and share that. I don't, I just feel like this, a little bit more freedom, you know, needs to be kind of flowing in this in this energy. And because it's not just about, oh, you know, you do specific this, 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 now I'll support you. This is about, again, this community and this mission. It really is about changing the world. It's not about lining our pocketbooks. Let's just be clear about that. And you can sit there and tell people what they can afford all day, but guess what? You can't tell them what they can afford. I'm sorry. You can't, as a person who is not, have any kids to support, and who has not been in poverty level for nine, you know, 19 twentieths of their life, you know, you can't tell me what I can afford. So that's why I am offering my stuff right now at a very reasonable level because I want to help build this community up. So get the program and you can take it and spin it. You could even, you know, I can do the Sophia Charles thing where you can sell it as well. We can talk about that. Email me at claryberrygmail.com, but I feel so strongly about my program. Honestly, I'm just going to come out and say it. I think my program is better than Sophia Charles's program. She's amazing. She has helped me on my way, but I honestly think mine is clearer. It's more in depth. And, you know, at the very least, they're good counterparts to each other. So I said it there. You heard it here. Okay. So, you know, with your mission, this is coming into the next milestones together, coming into the next stage of union. And again, people say union, union all the time. I just did a video about this the other day. Look at my Twin Flame playlist. But there's no set thing where people can say, oh, well, there's only five people in union. You don't even know what union, you're not even defining union, okay? Union for different people is going to be different things at different levels, at different stages. And this is about being okay with where you're at. And yeah, looking forward to the next stage, but not being that desperate energy, which is going to push it away, you know, not saying I need, need, need the next step, you know, just be happy where you're at, be happy with the progress that you've made and keep working on this alignment because this is all about the alignment, you know, 1111, this is what it is. This is about the alignment of all of the actual energies that we have, mental, emotional, physical, physical over time, pentacles, energy. This is about the magician. This is about both of you doing this simultaneously. So as you're getting your mental, as you're getting your emotional, it's going to rub off on your partner. I don't care if you're 45, two hours, whatever away, it's going to rub off energetically. Okay. And then, you know, it comes into your physical and then your physical changes and the, uh, the habitual energies, your social, your, uh, vocational, you know, this stuff's going to change. And this is what this is about is over time, you know, we're not, the world is going to change a lot as we're changing the world is changing and the world is calling for us to step up and have real real jobs have like real missions real purpose okay whereas before we were just trying to make it we we're just trying to make ends meet just trying to raise the kids whatever no we're going so far beyond just survival to literally thriving okay and this is part of it again is not only coming into union but also 
coming into union and then getting into mission together. Okay. So I've got a very clear picture of what that is going to be for me and my twin flame always have, um, not, not, not super clear, but like somewhat, you know, a good idea. So, um, yeah. And then we got another one where we have the tower at the end here. Okay. So again, the, um, like you said, the chariot could be going, could be going to the tower moment. You see that tower up there, even though it's blurry. Okay. I see you see that tower moment. Don't be afraid. Don't worry about it. Okay. And don't be so busy that you're not going to take care of it because the way to block this is to go within. Focus on yourself first and foremost. We're having zero desperate energy. Remember, you're having fun with yourself. You're going within. Okay. We can't go within every second of the day. So when you're not going within, Allow yourself to have a little fun. Allow yourself to have some pampering. You know, that physical stuff I always talk smack about a little bit. I mean, it's it's important, but it's not as important as the inner child work. So you're having this balance of your inner and your outer. Your partner's coming into this balance. And then if you do have tower moments, it's almost like, oh, hey, that's cute. That's cute. You're like, oh, that, that was my tower moment? <laughs> like, it's like you will laugh in the face of the tower moments. And they won't even face you because you know that what you have is so solid. Okay, that's the thing. Tower moments don't happen if you don't build way up here on the, you know, like right next to the coastline, you know, on the, you know, in the hurricane season. It's just like, it's making me think of Kansas City. <laughs> Not to say this is why I live in Kansas City, but Kansas City is like, there's no hurricanes. Yeah, we have tornadoes. You got to watch out for tornadoes. But if you have a basement, you're cool, all right? It's like, yeah, I mean, it's just a safe place. People that people that live here just kind of like have that safe, you know? And it's like this is where this is where you're this is where you're coming to. You're not even worried about these crazy tower moments because you know you're gonna get through it. You know you can. You've already gotten through so much together. I can I can just tell. And now that you're going within, bam. I'm gonna take three, three more. Okay, yes. Okay, so look at what we have here. You saw it first at Clarieberry. So obviously this is you, this the DM, or you know, you, vice versa, like I said, whatever. Okay, they're both focused. Okay, this is not necessarily, oh, focus on each other, let's, let's move it forward right now. No, they're going within, they're focusing on themselves majorly right now. And it's all coming together. I'm not saying you're not going to see your partner. I'm not saying you're not going to, you know, make make progress because there is, there is progress. Even if you're not feeling it, like actually, oh, we're getting together. I'm seeing signs. There's progress under the scenes. You better know that's true. Okay. And even if there is a tower moment going on, like actually right now, which I'm kind of not, I'm kind of feeling like there still might, if there's anything, you might still be falling from this other tower moment before. And the dust is still clearing, okay? But it's the tower moment that led you into kind of getting deeper into your, really your inner child. This is getting deeper in with your true emotions and, and conquering them, okay, for both of you. So, you know, it's hard. It's, it's easy for us to think about, oh, our trauma too, but then think about your partner's trauma. And as a divine masculine, it's harder. It's harder to deal with the trauma. It just is because they're not as intuitive. They just don't have that natural knack. And as hard as it is for us to deal with their shit, it's even harder sometimes for them to even acknowledge it. So the more you can go within right now, again, the more your person's going to go. He's right there with you. You guys are together. This is further confirmation of that. The fact that we just pulled those out right here. Okay, so don't get distracted. Don't get distracted. You know what you need to focus on right now. Okay, you know what it is, and that's going within. It's what your true passion is. The only two things like that you should focus on is yourself, your mission. Okay, and you know, maybe a little bit of your twin flame, but I'm still not getting a lot of that. This is still within. This is still let him, let him fill that void. Let him come to you. Men are primal hunters, not saying that all divine masculines need to be the um actual male but even if they're in the divine masculine they probably have a little bit of that chasing you know vibe and it, it's nice for them to have a little space to kind of miss you that's when if you if you look at or or read about or hear different videos of that like when 
people realize or feel the love and the longing the most obviously is when they're apart or when they like just get right back together so a little bit of space a little bit of distance i keep saying it's showing up in every video this past week or so it's kind of a good thing right now okay especially during the pisces moon the pisces moon is imagining the growth imagining what you're going to do i swear my readings are like the same in ways it's so crazy because I've been saying this exact same thing. Okay. And we're coming through. We're coming through moon in Aries in another couple of days here on the 8th on Friday, 650 approximately in the morning central time. I'll do another video for you guys. Um, maybe Thursday night or so. Just I'm going to start doing the twin flame moon readings just as a general reading. So that way we kind of have some breakup of this, you know, um, actual sign energy so keep on the lookout for your signs your cross watching signs your moon signs your venus signs like all of that stuff that i always talk about at the beginning of every video okay but stay focused right now okay and again being the being bold and making the first move is not necessarily about going out and chasing them okay that is kind of what you think about whenever you you see this but this this is the old pattern this is the pattern that gets you here okay to the tower moment okay this is not the the this is not the action that gets you where you actually want to be, you know, or where you think you want to be, you know. So there may be a little pullback energy. Maybe focus on yourself. Pamper, please yourself. Go out and have fun. Anything you would want your twin flame to do for you, take you out to a movie, take you out to dinner, do it to yourself. Okay, do it to yourself. Other than that, just stay completely focused on your inner child healing shadow work and how you're going to take this healing and spread it to the world, okay? Whatever healing that you go through, it's gonna be a learning experience for you to be able to share with others. So again, take notes on your progress, take videos on your progress. I say in my program a lot to just talk to yourself and, and, and video record yourself going through it, you know? It's like old school lists are, are done, you know? You don't need to sit there and if writing is great, if you're a writer, then do that. But sometimes it's it's really uh, handy and quick and easy, you know, for you to be able to just verbally vomit something, you know, into the into the video. Even if you're not, you're not going to post it. You know, you you might get ideas and take notes and then post a video about it. You know, about what you went through, which is what I've done um, a lot on my program. Okay, take these tower moments and learn from them and figure out how you deeply have somehow attracted them to yourself. Because that's what we do. We attract everything to ourselves. Holistic law of attraction. Okay, get the program, clarieberry.com. Find me all over social media. I have, again, Direct Unlimited Life on Coaching Club. I have Patreon. You can get extended readings on, um, well, $5. You pick one. So if you want to extend, and it's uh, as, many extended read as, as many readings as I do that month, you'll get the extended on all of them for that month. Okay, so again, email me, clarieberry.com. If you have any questions, much love, many blessings. I know you're here again for a great amazing, wonderful, spiritual, blessed purpose. So stay at it and focus on what is important. Okay. Focus, try to focus as much as you can. I know we all need our guilty pleasures. We need our unwinding time. Even if, you know, you're completely obsessed with twin flame, you know, progress and self inner work, like all of this, we still need that time. So I'm not saying don't take that relaxing time or that guilty pleasure or whatever before bed, but don't waste any more than that any more than the bare minimum of what you actually need to, to get that kind of balanced out, you know, just zoned out feeling. You know what I mean? We don't need to binge watch. We don't need to be distracting ourselves with the shopping and this and this and that, that we don't need. This is like we're gathering, we're, we're getting our shit straight inside and out, okay? Know it, feel it, believe it, breathe it, walk it, talk it, everything. Don't forget to share and shine your light, okay? If you're not doing it here on YouTube, do it everywhere. And if you have a channel and I'm not subscribed yet, or if you just want to shout it out down below, again, I want to try to build up this community, even for us underdogs here, okay? So, uh, yeah, again, much love, many blessings. This first move has to do with you on the inside. That's why it's the moon, okay? That's why this is shadow work, major shadow work in holistic law of attraction. So, I feel like, again, the holistic law of attraction, the shadow work for you might be something that, again, you could help teach others to learn about, okay? So let me know what you think. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Like, subscribe, share. Stay notified. Hit the bell. Of course, stay subscribed. And again, 
all over social media. Stay connected because I love you guys so much and I'm so grateful for you. Take care. I'll see you soon. Bye.